远距射手 ，Yes。Keep the dog chasing its tail. Going to feed the worms. Needing. This is too much. 找到补给马车，然后再建起上坡，我懂。目标就是去开启补给马车。
โอ้โหไว้ก่อนเดี๋ยวเนี่ย估计接下来就是海葬。Hail Raventlan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harald of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harald's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise king Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kjotve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Kjetwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjetwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjetwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Chudve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason... I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kjotve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harald's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kjotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kjotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. 
And if Kurtwis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, ...have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone... ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones, but Katve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Katve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your renets to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. Okay. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. You dance better than you fight. Your day to die. Okay. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Yo, be.
Nothing. No. My clan will not be forgotten. I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> to the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debt's repaid. Open the gates and you'll be spared. Wallow in shit, Wolfkist. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Yeah, can you from inside the door, right? Then how do I get in? Ah, like this. I think. Hey, I'll open the door and say it. I'll let my people in. Come on, in. Get in. Hey, open. Let Y open, right? 收个宝藏的书。The blind pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. No. Well, 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 well. 
哦，在那里，逃出建筑 ，come on， 往上爬，再爬，再爬，跳，跳出去，跳溜了。Coward gone fleece, his father dies twice today. 要追吗？If the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sona. Another time. Show me what lies ahead. 这么早，准没错。Stretch your wings, son. Come on, you mean to get away, pal? 
sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. Why did he after I put an arrow on the King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Haftan for capturing his bride, Ranghild. Hmm. Hmm. 这是他的吗? That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. Mira. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. Listen to Twin. Nothing but bone. What do you see? When Father first showed me this passage, I was so excited. the dark. Huh? 
survey the area soon. Your clan is a foul stench. Come on, I need to We are strong, Ernie. Yes, strong with stink. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one. And see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, their allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you... Evil! You arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce.
You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. 
Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death. ...but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust... ...and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd... ...and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway... ...both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. What are you doing? He came of age very quickly. Take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie. Leaving you with a little soldier to race for yourself. I will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The Wasp will... Two days ago... We rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? 
In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Cut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take Shotve's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Shotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. This is the battle of the Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago... I opened my door <laughs> to you, Hale. And now, your only thanks is to rob me. <laughs> I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. 
All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla!